the state of Maryland. Honk your horn, honk your horn if you believe. Many people in the state's religious community, especially in African-American churches, still oppose gay marriage and are vowing to continue their fight against it. Thousands of Marylanders around the state want to see marriage defined and upheld between one man and one woman. All of a sudden, it was black versus gay. That's a scene from the new black, just one of the more than 30 films being shown at the 12th annual Region Park Film Festival, which is on now until Saturday. We have Alana Trainoff here with us this morning. You are the executive director of the 12th annual Region Park Film Festival. First off, give me a little bit of an overview of what people can expect from this film festival. Sure. Um, the festival's in its 12th year this year. Um, we are the only free uh, multicultural community film festival in Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, we run from a Wednesday to Saturday of this week. It's four days of film screenings, workshops, panels, talkbacks. Um, people from the community and film lovers alike come out to support. Tell me about some of the films. I know some of them are The New Black, which we just saw there, mm -hmm. but Hope Heights. Hope Heights is, is uh, an amazing film. We're really excited about it. The screening is actually sold out. Sold out. It's a free screening. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a community-based um, film. It, uh, it focuses on some amazing stories of people who live and have spent their lives um, living in Lawrence Heights, which is also going to be going through a revitalization um, similar to Regent Park. And, uh, you know, it's gotten a lot of buzz and we're really, really excited about it. So the new black takes us out of the city and takes us to the south, it seems, with that, that clip that we saw. Yes, it does. And, um, you know, that's an important film for us. Um, we came to that film because we um, found, uh, came across a, a wonderful short film called Dawn, um, which is sort of a um, queer-focused film. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a, an issue, a social issue that we really wanted to focus on. So we were able to program it with the New Black. And uh, we'll have a panel of speakers who are from the queer community who can come out and talk about being racialized and being queer and some of the uh, struggles that they face and some of the ways that they um, use the arts and film to, to address some of those issues. I guess that's really about the, uh, the film festival itself. Very inclusive. Uh, you want to bring people in. Uh, Regent Park is an area that's gone uh, through tremendous transition in the last, I would say, five to ten years, uh, you have an award winner, I understand, with a film focused on that. We do. His name is Richard Fung. Uh, the film is called The Journey. Uh, the RBC Emerging Artist Award, which was, which was presented last night at opening night, um, was presented to him. It's a film that focuses on um, a, lot of, a lot around the revitalization of Regent Park, and it, it's an opportunity. Um, it was an opportunity for him to uh, highlight and spotlight a lot of the um, amazing artists that are, are coming out of that neighborhood. Yeah, there's a lot of major, amazing, amazing things. Uh, another film, Black Men Loving. Yes. What's that all about? It's a film that actually we commissioned uh, through the Canada Council for the Arts. Um, we actually had uh, a father come up to us last year at the festival and say, there aren't a lot of, um, you know, black fathers, stories of black fathers anywhere in the films that, mm -hmm. you know, that you're showing or anywhere for that matter. And so we actually um, partnered with a community organization called the Black really Daddies Club kind of and we father. commissioned a filmmaker Ella Cooper who um, put together this documentary for us about um, black black men parenting no, which is great so the film festival is running in, in through the entire week and of course for more information they can go to regionparkfilmfestival.com mm -hmm. and the best part is free it's free I everything like it. free I like it. not a lot of free things in the city of Toronto now there is now there is thanks a lot very much and uh, congratulations you. on your success thanks I'm gonna so take much. a break from breakfast television coming up we'll have uh, updates on Storm Center what where the weather is going and also some school bus cancellations not here in Toronto but north and west of us